this demo that I'm going to be doing now is um, a method for um, simulating grass and things like that waving in the wind using Lightwave soft body dynamics. So I'm going to load an object into Modeler, which is this grass blade, or it's a clump of grass blades, as you can see here. It's actually got a weight map uh, painted into it, but you can't actually see the weight map. So I click on here and do grass blade. Um, you should see we've got a weight map here. And this is quite important to set up because um, for this effect to work properly, you really need a weight map in your geometry. So this weight maps, as you can see where it's red, is the part of the, the grass that's going to be fixed. And where it's um, grey is the part of the grass that I want to animate. So with that, I'm going, now going to jump to layout and I'm going to bring that object into layout, load object, grass blade, open. So there we have it. Now the next thing to do is to apply soft body dynamics to this object. And you can see here the soft body dynamics interface. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tell the plugin that we need to lock the grass to the ground using the weight map. So that's the first thing to do. Then I'm now going to change these values to very small values because by default 100% for something this small is going to make quite a lot of difference to the animation. I'm then going into the operator tab and I'm going to select weight map for that one and UV for this one. Now I can show you all the little tests that I did before I arrived at this solution but I'm just cutting to the chase really so that you can see what the final effect is going to be like. We then go to deform now I'm going to leave that one alone except for where it says keep root and I'm going to select weight map and follow wind which we haven't actually I haven't actually put in a wind effect yet so that's the next stage bump we can ignore for the time being and that's it now if I obviously if I hit calculate nothing's going to happen because we don't have another dynamic to affect the soft body simulation. So we then go to items, dynamic object, wind. Click OK. Now wind, as you can see, it's already affected the soft body um, geometry. Um, now this wind, because the object is very, very small, that wind is way too big. So I'm going to reduce this down to 100 millimeters. I'm going to take the power down to 20 and I'm then going to rotate the wind like so and I'm then going to select the kind of wind. Now I want a wind with some turbulence so if I hit I then select calculate see what's happening there. And in principle, that's how you use soft body dynamics to animate things like foliage on a tree, or in this case, grass. Now this is a pretty crude illustration of how that works. So what we've got here is not only have we got the geometry moving up and down, but we've also got it's stretching and twisting. So that's a quite a crude simulation. So now I'm going to load in a scene which I created before. 
and we have the grass here. And as you can see, we've got a much nicer, more gentle simulation. We still got some little problems down here, which has to do with the weight map. But as you can see, it's very fast and it, it kind of creates the illusion that you know, it's kind of animating according to the wind. Um, now this is one bunch of grass. What would you do with a whole field of grass? Well, if you were using a plugin like DP Instance, you can bake this animation and then use instancing to populate some geometry with lots of grass and offset the animation, rotate the clumps and so on and get quite a nice um, animation of grass just gently moving in the wind. So I hope that was useful. I'll stop that there and stop the demo.